welcome to another episode of Drinking with Geeks. I'm Roz. And I'm Matt. And today is Canada Day. And to celebrate the occasion, we've decided to take a look at that most iconic of Canadian spirits, whiskey. In particular, we've chosen a couple that we found more of amusement than that we think these are actually going to be any good. But we thought it would be fun to take a look at some brands of whiskey that are associated with some iconic Canadian figures. In particular, we've got Liquorman Whiskey, which is the Trailer Park Boys branded whiskey. <laughs> I'm really curious about this one. I don't have high hopes for it, <laughs> but it should be fun. I expect it will mix with Coke really well. That seems like the kind of whiskey they would go for. And then you give her. Yes. And then our second whiskey <laughs> from maybe the most iconic Canadian of all time. Uh, if you agree to disagree, please post a comment below. Indeed. But it's 99 whiskey from <laughs> Wayne Gretzky's distillery and winery in the Niagara area of Ontario. Both of these bottles are less than $40, so, you know... We're not looking for too much in terms of, like, high quality here. Uh, mostly, they just have to be fun. And as long as they're not god-awful, <laughs> I'm going to be happy with the money I spent, I'm sure. What should we start with first? I think let's start with the Trailer Park Boys. Uh, it's probably going to be the roughest. Does that make sense to start with that first? Like, is it going to burn out our taste buds? I don't know. Let's give it a try. It's the one that's in front of me right now. So, that's what's happening. As you can see, we have not tried these. I have to have to open them. They've just been sitting on our shelf for a while, waiting for the appropriate occasion to bust into the special stuff. <laughs> Who's your favorite Trailer Park Boy? I mean, Bubbles is, <laughs> I think, probably the most entertaining and the most likable, because you just, you know, you, he's the nicest, so you kind of want to be on his side. Plus cats. Plus cats, for sure. Um, but there would be no Trailer Park Boys without Ricky, so... Yeah, uh, Ricky's awesome. Um, I'm gonna go with Julian is actually my favorite, <laughs> just because I love that he's always walking around with a rum and coke. Um, which, it's kind of weird to me that they actually didn't go with a branded rum, because they're associated with the rum and coke more than they are with whiskey. You don't... I, my memories... It's been a long time since I've watched Trailer Park Boys, but my memories are not that it was, like, super whiskey associated with it. It was his rum and coke and marijuana. But for Canadians, it's certainly a great choice. And interestingly, I looked up the distillery that makes this for them, and it's a distillery in Newfoundland that is act actually does mostly make rum, including Newfoundlanders white rum, which, if you ever see it around... If I was smarter, I'd be holding a bottle of it right now, but I forgot to bring one out. I do have one somewhere. It's very tasty. <laughs> Just give us a little bit here. Not too much. Spill it on the counter. Yeah. Great. Love it. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to try this. Let's see how it is. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that smells like alcohol. It, it does, doesn't have the most... <laughs> refined nose on it. Oh, my eyes are watering a little bit. Okay. It, um, yeah, mostly I smell alcohol. It's a bit caramelly. You can get a small amount of the caramel that you would expect from the aging, but Whew. not a ton. That said, this is a three-year-old whiskey, so that is the shortest amount of time you can age whiskey in Canada and legally call it whiskey. So... This isn't cream of the crop, but why would it be from Trailer Park Boys? This smells like what I think the Trailer Park Boys would drink, which <laughs> I don't know if that's a great thing, but it's entertaining. Well, boys. Yep. Shall we? Let's give her. It actually doesn't taste too bad. Yeah, it's actually kind of nice. It's rough. It's hot. Have a little water to smooth things. You know, it's got a lot of burn. It is very young. Not a lot of complexity that you would imagine, but it does have some nice 
you know, kind of sweet flavors, and you got the caramel. There's a little bit of spice. You don't get a ton of spice. This is a drinkable little whiskey, though. Yeah, like I said, I would mix this for sure. I don't know that uh, I'm going to sit and drink too much of this straight because mm -hmm. it's young. Or, but in like a whiskey sour. You could totally use it for something like that. It's got some stones. I'm going to have another sip of this. Whew, prepare myself. It's nice. It's I'm going to give it a couple, couple drops of water and see if it opens up. Simple? Sweet. <laughs> More than a couple drops of water. We, uh, we should get eyedroppers sometime. That'd be... Little mini pipettes. All so right. a little water, how does that do? Big splash of water, how's this? Oh, it smells better. <laughs> Makes it more drinkable, but because it's so young, it's not like there's a whole lot of flavor there to, uh, to bring out. Okay, so would you, would you give this a rating? Uh, Is it impossible to rate? Because it's, it's not impossible a to fun, rate. There's a fun factor. I think the fun factor definitely is involved, right? Like, if I was to rate this out of five, I'd probably give it a three out of five because of the fun factor. But really, it probably deserves, like, a 2.5 out of five in terms of, like, whiskey quality, you know. For the price. For the price. But it is fun to have an official spirit of the Trailer Park Boys. So let's slam these back and get on to the 99. So that was the Trailer Park Boys whiskey. Now let's check out Gretzky. I couldn't find too much information about the production process for Wayne Gretzky's whiskey, but it appears to be distilled on his estates. According to their website, they seem to suggest that it's distilled using grains that they grow and then aged in barrels from his winery. Nice. Yeah, I've never tried his wine, but I would have similar hopes for it that I do for this whiskey. Which would be measured. <laughs> yes, tempered <laughs> expectations. You'd think they could at least get their grains from Edmonton, right? Like, I mean, obviously, you can't get anything else from there, but... Uh, Except awesome people! Yes. There are lovely people in Alberta. Alberta has great rye. <laughs> Some of the best distilleries in Canada are in Alberta, so. You, they sure don't make this easy to open, <laughs> though. I'll tell you that much. There we go. Right away, I mean, they've done a much nicer job with packaging. It's a nice Ooh. cork. Uh, that's always pleasant in a whiskey as opposed to a screw top. But would you want a corked bottle from <laughs> Trailer Park Boys? No. Great branding. Oh, that smells better. <laughs> That's a hefty portion, sir. Well, I can switch if you want. I don't want. Right. It definitely Ooh. smells better. It's less like just straight up alcohol, uh, med like medicinal alcohol right mm -hmm. off the bat. I know that you can smell the grains in this one. But it's still not a particularly, like, pungent, complex aroma. It's still pretty simple. I expect this whiskey's a little bit older, but I wouldn't put it at too much older, like maybe five years. But I don't know, because I couldn't find the information, which also leads me to think it's probably not much older than five years. O only the Trailer Park Boys could get away with advertising how young their whiskey is. <laughs> You can taste mm. the red wine cask for sure. Like there is definitely a red wine flavor in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is much more gentle. Yeah. It has a really, uh, quite a nice when you just take a little sip of it. You're, you're paying for a little bit of history, I guess. Uh, trying to have the great one in your whiskey because somehow those things are connected. If you want to spend 40 bucks on a Canadiana whiskey, I would say definitely go with the Wayne Gretzky over the Trailer Park Boys. So we uh, we rated the Trailer Park Boys. There's a fun factor associated with this one as well. I'm going to give it 3.5 with the fun factor and like 3 out of 5. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm just as, you know, a whiskey. 
the good part about having uh, Wayne Gretzky whiskey is that you get to make a bunch of top shelf jokes. No? Just yeah. Me? Uh, sadly, not a top shelf whiskey. <laughs> this might be more, what is it, five hole? Is that <laughs> like... It's not where mom puts the peanut butter? No. <laughs> I enjoyed this. This is super fun. We'd like to do more reviews of spirits. Um, put your suggestion in the comments below. Mm -hmm. I especially look forward to reviewing spirits that I choose because I think they actually look like they could be good, not just because uh, they're a fun, silly brand. Have fun, Internet. Happy Canada Day, and we will see you next week.